what might be the presenting sign, you know, the sneezing rabbit or the wheezing snake may just be the tip of the iceberg. I'm Dr. Kurt Sladke. I am a clinical associate professor of zoological medicine and the section head for the Special Species Health Service at UW Veterinary Care. And, and I'm one of the only 130 specialists board certified in zoo medicine in the world. What I think we do well here is dig to the bottom of that iceberg. We actually dig deeper diagnostically to, toward the bottom of what may be a primary underlying cause, which may, may never be obvious. Because I see so many different species, I, I think probably the most common question might be, what do I feed this animal? Many people come in and have never owned a bird before or never owned a bearded dragon. Really, in terms of health problems of a lot of the species we deal with, it all comes down to what you're feeding, how you're caring for the animal. One thing that people don't recognize right away when they get an exotic pet is that they hide their illness so well. I think it's really important to teach um, owners of exotic pets certain things to watch out for that may be a sign that the animal is actually not feeling very well. That issue of hiding illness drives our interest in having patients come in regularly, at least annually, for full physical exams and blood work because what the animal is hiding sometimes will show up in other diagnostic tests, so blood work or a physical exam. We see a lot of avian bird emergencies. Because of our, our specialists here, we would encourage referring vets who don't send reptile patients or the small mammal patients to send to us because the facilities we have here, we can do so much more diagnostically and so much more therapeutically with a lot of the species. Unique uh, diagnostic modalities and therapeutic would be CT scans, fluoroscopy, endoscopic dental exam, MRIs. These are all unique diagnostic modalities that we have here that nobody else has. What we're trying to do nowadays is doing less surgery, less, less invasive procedures to make sure that we're not adding stress. The most unique thing about our service is that we have the only specialists in the Midwest who see exotic pets. And we are happy to see primary care patients and referral patients from referring veterinarians. Let's get healthy.